You're watching K8 News Midday with Diana Davis and meteorologist Aaron Castleberry. One day before the total solar eclipse in Jonesboro, there's a colossal event happening in downtown and you've got to love their catchphrase, a total eclipse of the arts. <laughs> it's the seventh annual Oasis Arts and Eats Fest, a collaborative effort between the Foundation of Arts, the Downtown Jonesboro Alliance, the Department of Art plus Design at A-State, Jonesboro Radio Group and NEA Artist Collective. Everything happens between new at 4 p.m. and joining us now is Emily Jenkins with the Foundation of Arts. Thank you so much for being here. Always a pleasure to be here, Diana. Um, this is such like this is a pretty massive mm -hmm. week for Jonesboro and all of NEA, and we're just so honored to be you know a contributing element to that. So we're we're excited about this event. Well, and perfect timing yes. because anyone who is coming to Jonesboro gets a little taste of the arts community yes. and our restaurants if they're here the weekend before. Yeah, this is actually our largest collaboration of Oasis ever. It's our seventh year of doing Oasis, and we have over a hundred vendors. Oh my goodness. We're really excited. Yeah, this is going to be a tremendous um, festival. It's d downtown. You know, we're going to basically take over Main Street, um, okay. which is the entire area of downtown. A couple of the surrounding, you know, side streets and stuff like that. But we have a little bit of something for everybody in the family. So, of course, we're going to have our wonderful vendors, our craftsmen, our artists, and then our restaurant vendors. Um, and then we're going to have some like kid zone areas with like inflatables. In fact, oh. First Horizon Bank is sponsoring our like kid zone or inflatable areas, which is so awesome. I know those have always been a hit in years past. Um, and another thing that I really enjoy or that I'm, I know that folks are going to get excited about is that they are going to be able to vote for their favorite oh, vendor, um, specifically that. for the restaurants. So that is going to encourage people to go from vendor to vendor and try out all the various food options that they've right. got. So each um, restaurant vendor will have a little QR code and folks can like follow it and put nice. like their crowd favorite, which is kind of cool. Um, of course, we will have, you know, lots and lots of visual artists as well. Um, we're going to have some wonderful like craftsmen and women. And this is, I mean, the, the timing, you're right. I mean, we have to boast <laughs> a little because the timing is, is pretty perfect. perfect. We almost never do Sunday festivals because Sunday is a, is a day in our many of our communities that folks don't want to go out and they, they want to kind of be home. But with the eclipse, we're thinking, well, do your Sunday morning activities, whatever those are, and then come straight to downtown and have lunch with us. And yeah. we're gonna be there, we're gonna have like activities and uh, you know various things for the whole family. So it's a it's about to be a wonderful thing. And is there any charge, uh, admission no. charge? No, okay. completely free. Um, we just ask that you come, you know, stake out your parking spot and then come join us. Um, and any additional information can be found at oasisfest.org. That's our website that has like, like we're going to have a map that's coming soon where you can stake out where you want to go yeah. first or what restaurants you want to hit. Yes. Um, and then later this month, you know, this is the Arts and Eats Fest on, on this Sunday. But later in April, we're going to have our Oasis Digital Film and Media ah. Festival. And the registration actually opened for that today. So um, this is a perfect day that we're talking about all things Oasis in the month of April. Um, that's going to be geared towards anybody who has interest in the digital, you know, right media or the film area. We've got some got really world-class workshops and guests coming to give some of their knowledge and so interact with folks. So much happening. Yeah. Well, Emily, thank you so much thank for you. being here. And of course, one week from today is the eclipse and we don't want the clouds that we have right now. So work on that, Erin. <laughs>